In a national poll of likely voters, Obama and Romney are tied. Are you nervous? This is In the Loop. I'm very concerned about it. Um, it's uh, understandable since Romney and President, uh, President Obama are now running neck and neck on almost every poll that's out there. No, I'm not really concerned that it's a tight race. I think that, um, that through the last, um, let me get it right, debate that Obama have shown the facts um, from his past four years, what he's been untying from the previous years, I think that his facts show for itself that he's capable again. You know, let's give him a chance. These last four years, he had so much. He was given a, he was dealt a hand that was so unfair, and he's still trying to deal with that hand. I think that the polls are going to show that we are for right, honesty. This man has untangled some mess. And I think he's done a great job. And let's just give him the opportunity to show what he can do in the next four years. Are you concerned at all? No. Nope. I'm concerned, but, but my thinking right now is Obama's going to be the, uh, continue to uh, be reelected. No, polls are so objective. You know, you really can't uh, depend on the polls. And uh, does it, so it doesn't make you nervous at all? No, it doesn't make me nervous at all. I just think that uh, uh, the polls that they're taking are from selected people, and so it really doesn't reflect the entire population. Well, you know, those polls, they change from day to day, and uh, all I can do is my part to vote and to uh, encourage anyone else to vote for for whatever candidate, you know. And do you think that the rest of the country's made up their mind? Do you have any concerns about who you're voting for in terms of whether or not they might win? I think I think the majority of the people have made up their minds. I think there's probably one percent of the people who haven't. Uh, but quite frankly, I don't think uh, there's much uh, uh, there's much to decide on. I don't think I think it's pretty. In my opinion, it's pretty clear. I don't think so. They're tired because I think Obama, he's going to win. King Howard McGee, are you going to vote this election? I sure am. Absolutely. Yes, I will definitely be voting this time. Selection? Of course I am. Yes. Yes, I am. Absolutely. Are you planning on voting this election cycle? Definitely. Yes, I am. Are you planning on voting yourself? Yes, I am. Are you doing anything to help get out the vote, to help people organize? Are you calling people? Are you registering people? Are you encouraging friends? What are you doing? I'm encouraging friends to get out and vote. Encouraging people to vote. That's good. And what would you tell to those people? Young people, you all need to vote. You know, it's really interesting you asked that because I was actually a volunteer this year for the Obama, the grassroots Obama uh, campaign uh, group that was out there making phone calls. I made phone calls that I should be going uh, from Los Angeles to Nevada in about two weeks to knock on doors for President Obama. First of all, my daughter is going to be a first time voter and she goes to Cal State Northridge and I'm letting her know everyone who says that they're your friend, they're only a true friend if they're voters. And so she has to rally up the troops. And I have a brother who, for the first time, he's 33 years old, and we have actually got him to register to vote. So what are you telling people? <laughs> to think about everything and read the backup. Yes, I've been talking to family members and other people that I know. We talk continuously about the uh, Romney-Obama um, situation. No, I think that's about it volunteering and getting out, knocking on doors and sitting out uh, flyers and just one-on-one -on -one contact with people. That's the best thing to do. For Loop21.com, I'm Matt Simon.